Hello everyone, it's Marilyn. Welcome. I have a Canvas project for today and it is in collaboration with Stamperia. I'm going to use all the fabulous products in this piece and especially I create these adorable angels and some of the pieces that you see in this canvas using their molds and their clay. And let's get started. I'm using this soft clay and some of this mold to create my pieces, my resin pieces, and I choose these adorable angels. It's very easy to work with this clay. You just need to uh, fill the mold and once you have uh, ready the pieces, you will let it dry. You should let it dry by 24 hours. I will let it dry now. Okay, this is uh, the, my canvas and I already apply a coat of gesso. Here I am apply, giving a coat of paint, of acrylic paint by Stamperia. And, and cover all the canvas with it. Once it's dry, I'm going to give a texture. This is the texture sand paste. It is a uh, very granulate uh, paste with a lot of textures and I love it. And I, I want to give a uh, little of color to the paste so I am mixing the texture sand paste with acrylic paint. And once I have this mix, I will uh, use one of the new stencil. I love this uh, design. And I add with my spatula the paste over all the stencil here. I will cover all this area because I want uh, a lot of textures in this side of the, of the canvas. Once I uh, apply all the all the textures, I will remove very carefully the stencil, and you can see here. Let me show you the close, a closer look. You can see here. I don't know if you can see through the video, but it has an amazing textures. Now I'm going to dry uh, this, and once it's dry, I will start to uh, adhere the resin pieces. I don't wait 24 hours, so uh, it's only four hours after I made these pieces. So they are. Uh, I, I'm working very carefully uh, right now because these pieces are uh, still wet, and I use the me uh, the media gloss gel paste that is a strong adhesive to uh, to glue all these pieces. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, crackle, the crackle paste. I want to create uh, a balance in, in the canvas, so I will apply in the opposite side uh, this paste. This is, uh, it, it will create a crackle effect um, in the canvas, and I want to combine um, different textures in in my work so i am applying now with the paintbrush very carefully uh, around the stencil work but because i don't want to uh, ruin uh, this area and i will apply the uh, stencil the crackle paste uh, also over some area here uh, over the stencil work but only in some areas to add uh, interest on the canvas Once I add all the crackle paste, I will let it dry overnight and you can see here uh, how awesome all these textures look. And now it's time to adhere all the wooden shapes and I'm using the Media Gloss Gel Paste as adhesive 
to add some of the uh, wooden shapes and flowers by Stamperia. I'm adding some buttons too and I want to add some pearls and so I cut um, from these uh, pieces here the only the pearls and adhere it in some areas to create an uh, interest and a mix of different elements on the canvas. I add some pearls by Stamperia and I adhere them with the media gloss paste uh, randomly around the area. Okay, now I'm going to create more textures and dimensions with the Granelina di Luna and the Media Gloss Paste. I just take Media Gloss Gel with the paintbrush, then I pick up the Granelina and spread them over the canvas. Okay, before coloring, I'm going to uh, neutralize all the colors of the embellishment, the flowers, the wood, and the different pieces. And for that, I prepare the surface with applying a coat of gesso. Actually, I gave two coats of gesso uh, to the area. Now I'm going to add the color and I'm using the acrylic paint by Stamperia. 
I will uh, make uh, I will mix this acrylic paint with water because I want a very light tones uh, on the canvas and I'm using one part of acrylic paint with three parts of water I mix it mix it very well with the paintbrush and apply it over the angels and over all the textures here and I am trying uh, not to apply the, uh, the paint direct because I am looking for a paint wash effect so I am um, this paint is very watery and I apply with the paintbrush and apply enough of this uh, mix then I uh, remove the excess with the paper towel as you see here and I will continue doing this uh, in uh, and give I think uh, I'm going to give two layers uh, with the same techniques until I give an intense beige tone okay I'm going to use a medium um, tone earth tone here this one and a uh, other one that is darker so I have a light medium and dark uh, tones and I will make the same mix with water this time I use one part of paint with two parts of water and once I have this mix I will start to create shadows and depth in my canvas with this uh, mix I also apply this medium tone over the angels and immediately remove the excess with the paper towel and it will uh, create uh, a, a definition of the angel and will start to give uh, life to uh, to this piece you will see here how it this technique will transform the angels and all the details around them Okay, now I'm going to work with the darker color. With this dark color, I will create the depth and I will uh, give more dimensions to the pieces, to the different elements on the canvas. I also enhance the angels with it. And you will see how it transforms all the pieces with this uh, dark color. You will see now. I will continue playing uh, uh, here with the paint and I will let you with music during this process. Now I take the white acrylic paint and this brush by Stamperia. I want to create the light on the project now. And for that reason, I am dabbing the brush over uh, 
some areas. I uh, use the dark color to create the shadows and the depth, and I'm using the white paint to create the light in my project. And you can see here from this angle, uh, all the dimensions and texture that uh, this canvas has, and I'm continuing dabbing the brush around uh, and around the edges uh, to smooth the transition between the crackle and the stencil and to smooth the borders. And I also apply uh, the white paint over the flowers and over the wood pieces. And when I smooth all the borders, this is the final result. And you can see here in natural light how it looks and all the amazing uh, details and textures. Remember that in the description box down below are the products that I use in this Canva. And I hope to see you soon with other video tutorials. So let me know if you like it with a thumbs up and any question, just let me know down below. I see you soon, bye-bye.